this video, we are looking at another Ever After High doll. This is Cerise Hood, daughter of Red Riding Hood, and secretly the Big Bad Wolf. And this is her Spring Unsprung iteration. In my last video, I actually um, unboxed the Lizzie Hart Spring Unsprung doll with her book playset. So I thought it would be a good time to open this one as well. It has some of the similar details in the Lizzie Hart's packaging is this interesting uh, white and black stripe book detail here and here, um, which I really like. And this really pretty kind of light and maypole detail because the Spring Unsprung was a outdoor kind of carnival. On the back of the box, we get a little background regarding the Spring Unsprung storyline. This year's Spring Fairest is in the spirit of Wonderland, but all the game's laughter and joy are making my Wonderland friends a little thrown sick. That's why I'm encouraging Lizzie Hearts to bring out my inner wonder with some wicked awesome outfits designed from her heart. And so we have a kind of a page from Lizzie Hearts sketchbook with her clothing designs for Cerise Hood and some snapshots of the other dolls in line like Cedar Wood, Briar Beauty, and Holly O'Hare. So let's get this doll out of her beautiful packaging. out of the box and uh, she's kind of difficult to get out of her packaging but she's beautiful I love this doll um, just a couple notes on her accessories she came with a handbag she also came with this ring that a little girl could wear and the Lizzie Hart's spring unsprung doll also came with a ring um, she came with a brush a doll stand and then this which I thought was a storybook but actually it's kind of the program for the spring fairest um spring unsprung festival kind of thing as well as a illustration of the fairground which is really cute so now let's take a closer look at the doll her face is beautiful she's got a slight blush to her cheeks she's got her dark eye makeup a dark lip color with her little three little silver dots on her bottom lip which i my, my other cerise hood doll has that as well I love her jewelry. Her earrings are um, like a branch detail, I think, like a tree branch. Um, and then this is her ring, a similar kind of look. Um, then her bracelet also has that look. And this is her handbag, which kind of looks like a log covered in black greenery or moss or something, but it's cool looking. Let's take a moment to talk about her headpiece. Um, I don't know if you could tell the unboxing videos time lapse she had a big tag plastic bolt i want to call it sticking out of the top of her head that was holding a piece of plastic that was keeping the headpiece centered it's still bolted to the sides of her head with these plastic bolts here and here and i'm not sure i want to take it off because the headpiece really kind of makes the outfit and I don't think it'll stay without those bolts sticking out of her head. And it's supposed to be spring on sprung, but the white in the headpiece makes it look like it's snow covered flowers. Um, but it's a really cool look. You can also see in her hair she has got her purple and white streak and it continues in the back here. Her hair is like in a little twist. Um, it's actually her hair is pretty soft except for her bangs are kind of like a solid product down it's like a sheet of hair instead of individual hair follicles um, but it's the right look for the hair piece so it doesn't bother me that much usually it would bother me a lot but in this case it doesn't I don't think I'm actually gonna touch her hair I just like the overall look of the whole outfit and I kind of don't want to mess with it and her hood because she always has a hood to hide her secret wolf ears, which the doll does not have, by the way. None of the Cerise Hood dolls have wolf ears. They are normal looking ears. Um, but the cartoon character has wolf ears and she's always wearing a hood to hide them. So this is her version of her red hood with this outfit. Um, she also has these pretty intense looking shoulder pieces. It's part of this plastic overlay that attaches in the back. Uh, I'll take a closer look at her outfit, which is multiple layers. 
Her hood is attached to her beautiful jacket, which is multiple layers. It's got this beautiful kind of picnic check print with uh, flower details. And then she's got the under layer that matches the hood. And this is all part of her jacket, which snaps in the front. And then underneath, she's wearing kind of a strapless tube dress, almost, um, plain black. And then she's got these amazing leggings on underneath. So the jacket or coat snaps closed. And then she has this really cool belt that goes over top and buckles in the back like that. I love her outfit. It's really cool. Um, so like I said, she's got the, on these leggings and these are her awesome boots, which have that kind of snowy white flower detail. Really cool. So all in all, I really love this doll. I love her look. I wish the headpiece wasn't bolted to her head, although I can understand this is pretty substantial. I'm not sure how it would stay on her head otherwise, but I love the whole look.